Hello, Bill Molino here with Bill's History and Wargaming World. And I have Josh with me once again, and we are in Kinston, North Carolina. And why are we here? Well, everyone knows we have come to see the CSS Deuce at the Civil War Museum in Kinston. I'll be running several videos. I'll link them all together. Uh, we'll be going into the Deuce Center soon. And then we'll go look at the uh, full-scale replica of the noose. So, hopefully we'll have a lot of good video for this exciting trip. Well, we are here. We are inside the museum. And I asked, and they said it was okay to uh, do pictures and such. This is the CSS noose. And it's darn big. This is the actual ship. Later, we'll be visiting the reproduction. So, um, this museum is just incredible. What I'm going to do is I will uh, turn, when I see something nifty, I'll uh, video it. And so we'll be flip flopping back and forth. The making of a gunboat. The CSS Noose is equipped with two, two main guns, one in the bow, one in the stern, and it was pivotable. Well, here we are. So cool. I'm just rambling. The museum here has a lot to offer. Now, Josh and I, we're still on a little bit of a time limit, so we don't have time to read every one of these plaques, but I'm going to say it's a two or three hour experience here at the museum. Um, here we have the blueprints of the noose. And Josh, can you point out the two main guns? Uh, I will move in a little. One. Here's the bow. And two. And two. Now, what would happen if a ship was on its side, flank? It would pivot. And you'll see we have the portholes where the gun would actually pivot. Once again, the CSS News. Yes. It is incredible, the timbers. So. Here we have the uh, casemate layers. The casemate layers. So. It'd be layers and layers of wood covered in metal. So, Josh and I both have miniature versions of the CSS news for wargaming. And don't forget, my channel is History and Wargaming. So, I think uh, in the next week or two, I'll have to uh, play a naval miniature war game yeah. with the CSS news. Definitely inspired. You're gonna have to do some get out the ironclads. Down here. So we have blue concrete for water, and we are looking at a, what would you call this, a mini reproduction of the casemate of yeah. the CSS News. And I don't know, I've heard that the CSS News may have a new captain on board. Um, we will see what happens. Um, Should have brought my, uh, well, I, I think these are 6.4 Brook Rifles, we will know in a minute. Uh, there is the pilot house, and there is Josh walking towards the entrance. Um, Josh, can you uh, let me know if you see the new captain on in there? Well, we're going to enter the casemate of the CSS Noose, and I was told the new captain is here at the helm. Oh my goodness! It's uh, it's Scuba the Traveling Bear. He is here inside the CSS Noose. Um, I kind of want to ring that ship's bell, but I'm, I'm not going to. 
Does it say you can ring the bell? It doesn't say you can. <laughs> it also doesn't say you can't. <laughs> uh, well, there's our artillery piece. Our and so cool. of course, in the casemate, we'd be going backwards, and in the stern, we'd have another gun. The concrete is uh, blue, which really, really a neat touch. So. Um, it was interesting that the captain, who is now with us again, it's a 6.4 inch Brook rifle. Brook rifle. Now, VA Travels, Chris up in Fredericksburg, Virginia, does really good videos with his YouTube channel. So, we got the uh, reinforced band. And, Chris, if you're ever here in North Carolina, um, they are picture friendly here and very, very nice. And we also met, met Matthew. Uh, young, the uh, director of the site, he actually took time from his day off, drove here just to say hi, and uh, that's a phenomenal thing. So that uh, a historian, with his limited time off, came and visited us. He didn't want to be on camera, for he uh, was not in working clothes. All the different uh, projectiles used in the uh, Brook Rifle. Shout out to my buddy Jack. Um, Jack's a, a great friend in, uh, he lives in Arizona. We mention him pretty much every video. I doubt Jack will ever get here. So, I hope you're enjoying this video. Jack Rendell out in Arizona and anyone else who is watching the CSS News. We're going to pause it here. It looks like Josh is uh, doing something with the wheel. All right, Josh is going to talk about the wheel. So they've got the, uh, the steering wheel for the ship here, or you know, the ship's wheel. And they have an open uh, area at the bottom so you can see how the, the wheel moving would uh, turn the rudder. Very cool. Yep. Very interactive, very interactive for children. It was wonderful. And of course, Captain uh, Goober, the traveling bear, seems to want to be here for handling the uh, wheel. And of course, we're just goofing around with Goober, the traveling bear. And uh, got a life. You laugh, life is short. And uh, yes, we do have them in a Confederate uniform today. <laughs> Let's uh, continue on our uh, our journey. I'll pause it here and we'll walk around a bit. Here's our captain's uniform, sidearm, uniforms and equipment of the Confederate Navy. This museum is astounding, uh, really, really impressive. I'm trying not to move the camera too much. There's so much to see here though. It's, uh, my wife was really interested in the stove on uh, Gary Alderman's uh, video. They talk about the stove that they recovered and it has this railing to keep the pots from uh, flying off when uh, we have some waves with the water uh, turning the boat and rocking it. So what happened to the news? Well, after the defeat of the Battle of Weiss Forks, Confederate General Braxton Bragg ordered the evacuation of Kinston. Captain Joseph Price was ordered to cover Hoke's retreat, the Confederate retreat, and sacrifice his vessel and make it in that it would not fall into enemy hands. As the advancing Federal Cavalry March 11th set, they set Noose on fire, she sank to the river where she would remain for nearly four, over 100 years. The ship never traveled more than a mile or so from its moorings, which is sort of interesting. 
it was used in, uh, it was a deterrent. It's incredible to touch an ironclad. That's quite impressive to look at it in this direction. It is. You should go talk to and check it out. Uh, they have an interactive children's center over here. I'll hit the interactive children's center and then we're going to go upstairs. Is there anyone over at the interaction uh, children's center, Cooper? Is, uh, is there a chance that uh, Cooper the traveling bear is over there? So this is such a hands-on uh, museum. It's really amazing. <laughs> so we have camp life for the children. And um, the traveling bear is learning about reenacting food. And actually, he knows a lot about reenacting food. He's been at more reenactments than my, uh, than my wife. <laughs> so, um, but look, uh, the CSS News really does a lot of programs for homeschool. So if you're looking at donating to a historic site, uh, this is one to consider. Now we have a scale model of the CSS News and I'm going to uh, start from uh, stern to bow. very impressive model. Whoever put this together did some phenomenal work. We have a close-up of the the engines, of the coal bunkers, and of course the weapon systems. So we're going to pause this and go upstairs because we can go in the top top tier. The enemy and espionage. Prior and during the fighting in town often felt the effects of the shell by advancing Union forces. It was a renowned Confederate spy. So, here we are looking at the news, and wow, it's very impressive. I like how they put that girder around it so you can see where, so you can see where everything was. It really, really nifty. All right, we'll pause our camera here. Well, I had to stop and, you know, this, I've done a ton of videos on artillery pieces. You know, Gettysburg, and usually it's the three main ones. You have the 12-pounder Napoleon, which is brass, three-inch rifle that looks like a soda bottle, ten inch, the 10-pounder Parrot with a reinforced breech. But here we have a little, a little howitzer gun, which is quite quite unique. So we had to do a little bit of the video on this. They have all the uh, implements. They got the worm. Of course you have to swab the barrel out with water to make sure there's no burning embers from the previous round. Our African American soldiers that fought on the side of the Union, fighting for freedom. This is George Johnson. And let's see here, he was six foot, two inches, 21 years old, and he was a sergeant. Very cool. They have a nice display for George Johnson, a fight for freedom. The Battle of Kinston. 
So we have some Civil War battlefields here in the area also, besides visiting the two news museums. So there is so much to see here. Um, allocate two hours at least. And um, here I am in the United States Colored Troops in Eastern North Carolina. The African American uh, soldier displays here, they really pay, pay a great tribute to all of the uh, African American soldiers that uh, fought in the American Civil War. Uh, really nicely done. They have a list of all the different regiments. Here we have a Confederate uniform, and the home front of the Civil War. Here we have a gown. We'll pause it here. Let's see what else we have. Three quarters are right there. Okay, Josh is hitting buttons. That's. That's the crew quarters, so it's lit up now. Crew quarters lit up now. This is the boiler where the boiler room would have been. Boiler room where it's lit up. Shelf. Officers' quarters. Officers' quarters. And the rudder. And the rudder. It's incredible. <laughs> so, the museum is very large and full of nifty stuff. Alright, well, you know, we're going to go and hit the gift shop, but beforehand, um, we talked to a very nice couple. Um, Josh, would you like to uh, put in a few comments on our uh, video here? Well, I just think this is an excellent museum, and if you uh, are down this way and get a chance, you should definitely check it out. It's got a, a lot of cool exhibits. and. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to close this video out for the CSS News Museum. We're going to do the next uh, video of the actual ironclad reproduction next. And like always, stay safe, be kind, be courteous. If you're looking for uh, a museum to donate money to, uh, to help them out, I think this would be a great site to help. Don't forget, your corporation, company that you work for, may also match. General Mills matches all our donations to historic sites also. Thank you.